We all want to protect our children from the worst parts of life. And as parents, we all want to believe we're the ones who can help and make things better. But kids might not always be comfortable going to their parents for help. That's the idea behind a bill that's making the rounds today. And if this passes, it would let children as young as 12 seek counseling without their parents' permission or their knowledge. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn tonight goes 360. Their stories are all tragic and heartbreaking. 17-year-old Nick Bales was popular and good-looking, but fighting a dark internal battle with depression and anxiety. And what Nick said in his suicide note, he was scared of his parents' reactions. Olivia Ortega was bullied and at just 13 years old ended her own life. Colorado has the third highest rate of suicide in the nation for ages 10 to 14. But we are seeing unprecedented depression and anxiety in middle school. So in an effort to curb the crisis, lawmakers are considering a new bill that would allow kids as young as 12 to meet with the psychologist without notifying their parents. There shouldn't be a barrier that's limiting their access and ability to go and get that support. Teens say this could open the door to more help. Everyone needs an adult support, but we need a safe support. He wanted help, but could not get it. High school senior Raya Hollis says it's the only way her brother is still alive today. Because he was 13 at the time, he wasn't able to do that himself. So it's something that needs to change. And many experts agree it's often difficult for kids to approach serious subjects like depression and suicide with their parents. If we know that isolation and stress is overwhelming, then we need to rethink what are the causes of that. But there are concerns with this proposal, starting with parents who say taking parents out of the equation overrides parental rights, further isolates children, and worse, leads kids to believe their parents don't care. This is the wrong way to proceed with this. And that trust in their relationship with their mom or their dad or their family to have that unit together, if that trust is not established, if we save them in the moment, but we don't save them in the long run, we haven't done what we need to do for our children. And then there's the funding. Children would access these psychotherapists through their school. But how will the state pay for a psychologist in every school? But if you're bringing in uh, licensed, trained uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, they don't work for free. Susan Marine says we must find a way. She not only lost a daughter to suicide, but a son as well. He killed himself less than a day after he got out of the hospital. The psychotherapy sessions would not cut out parents entirely. The bill states that after three therapy sessions, a psychologist could notify the parents if the expert feels it's appropriate or necessary. These teens say it might not be a fail-safe, but it's a start. My parents are very supportive. I love them dearly, but maybe if another adult said, yes, this is going on and this is possible, they can get that complete picture. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. And listen, if you are struggling or know somebody who is, please reach out. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is always there, always ready to take your call. There's the number on your screen. And we want to hear from you. Should children be allowed to see therapists without parent permission? If you approve, would you be willing to pay more in taxes? We want to hear what you think about this. You can email us 360 at thedenverchannel.com.